The divine race has passed away, and immortality prevails. Earthlings only diligently exercise their bodies. In the same year, AIU found the eyeball that was lost four billion years ago. The laws of heaven and earth are fully visible, and the Taoist teachings are unparalleled. Shintong wanted to find a place to live in her eyes, and AIU wanted to use its abilities to embark on the path of immortality. As a journalist, she is responsible and never puts on makeup when appearing on camera. As a police officer, she is both righteous and evil, and there is no need to open a gun to arrest someone. To be a godly stick, she is picky, but in reality, she goes through thick and thin. Years later, AIU's cultivation was successful and he stepped into the immortal realm, only to realize that he was the only semi-divine body in the world, the kind that could be immortalized with just a bite keywords of the novel. Half God, she changed her profession to cultivate immortality without a pop dot up window, half God, she changed her profession to cultivate immortality, download the complete TXT collection, half God, she changed her profession to cultivate immortality, read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Wedge. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Wedge in Fulling Immortal City, a storyteller in a tea house was foaming with saliva, talking about the great event that caused a sensation in the immortal realm a month ago. After billions of years, the chaotic law that envelopes the divine sight has been slightly weakened. The domain masters of the 33 immortal realms gathered together, speculating that only those above the immortal king level have the ability to enter the divine sight. Moreover, the weakening of this law is phased, with the first weakening only lasting about a month, and the next one will be uncertain how long it will take. All the treasures left in the divine sight are treasures from ancient times. In the past month, there have been very few immortal kings and immortals who have returned with a full load, and only a few have perished. According to the news from the Eight Square Tower, the immortal kings have been preserved for one or two years, and the immortals have been preserved for three or four years. As for the immortal emperor, I don't know what the minor cultivators next to him know, there are only seven less domain masters in the thirty-three immortal realms. These seven have all perished in a ray of emerald light. If we were to say that the most fiercely contested treasure belongs to this ray of emerald light. At that time, all 30.3 domain lords took action. Unexpectedly, in the end, no one caught it and even the seven fell. A guest couldn't help but interject, so, who knows what Chui Mang is. The storyteller Xiao Xiu smiled and said, there are countless rumors, and some people speculate that it is a relic of the wood series, the essence core of an ancient divine beast. Some people say it is the eyeball of an ancient divine demon, because the emerald light cannot be seen directly, and the divine sense is also not good. The lord of the Changfeng domain has a broken and delusional pupil, but because he looked at it again, his eyes were blind at that time. In the end, he had to come to our candle dragon immortal domain and ask the lord of the Xiaoyun domain for water to wash his eyes. Although he saved his eyes, the pupil was useless. Everyone sighed upon hearing this, but their actual feelings were unknown. Although fulling immortal city belongs to the Zhu Long immortal domain, not everyone is born a true immortal. There are many minor cultivators sitting idle in this tea house who have not yet realized their true nature. For them, the immortal emperor is an unimaginable realm. Soon someone gloated and said, choosing the owner of a treasure is not solely based on competition. No matter how high the realm is, it is useless. Xu Xu Xiao Xiao nodded and said, although the scene was chaotic when Ibao was born, it seemed like no one had found it in front of everyone. But that thing has indeed left the divine sight, and it cannot be hidden back. If anyone with great fortune had found it, they would have had to steal and enjoy it. How could they have made such a fuss that everyone knows about it? In the elegant room upstairs, a woman sneered, that old man from the Changfeng immortal domain is quite famous. Before he could finish speaking, he was stopped by a cold snort on the side, Xiao Jia. All domain masters are like my father, and none of them are not immortal emperors. Isn't it you, a little mysterious immortal, who can argue recklessly? Xiao Jia said nonchalantly, 
who dares to bully me in the thirty-three immortal realms. Dad, what is that Chui Mang? You haven't seen it clearly either. Xiaoyun gently lowered the teacup and opened his five fingers. The palm was scorched black, like a dead wood after being struck by lightning. On that day, none of the domain masters who came into contact with Chui Mang were spared and injured. Those who attempted to forcibly refine were also killed on the spot. The people downstairs were right, the treasure has spirit, and we are not its owners. However. But what? It will be much easier to separate it from the new owner after it recognizes the owner again. The old master is a god, of course it is not easy to tame. If it were an immortal, or a cultivator downstairs who has not yet become an immortal, it would naturally be different. Xiaojia squinted his eyes and suddenly realized, so, you're keeping this injury incurable because you want to use it to sense the emerald light. Not only me, but also those who hold this idea. Xiaojia was about to speak, but he saw a slight ripple of spiritual energy in the middle of the room. A human figure spread out like a wave of water, and immediately knelt down after appearing. Domain Master, the Eight Directions Tower is incompetent. We only found that after the Emerald Mang appeared, he disappeared from the Immortal Domain and his whereabouts are unknown. Xiaoyun frowned and remained silent. Can't he go to the lower world? A female journalist is recording a live broadcast from a camera on the Blue Planet, which is separated by countless light years from the Candle Dragon Immortal Domain. Recently, there has been a large dot scale meteor landing in the southeast region. Many netizens have witnessed a huge fireball falling locally, making a loud noise. Behind me is one of the meteor landing points, which used to be an ancient temple with a history of thousands of years as early as 2020, a 15.2 ton meteorite appeared in Africa and was identified as the ninth largest meteorite in the world. Researchers have detected two minerals on it that have never appeared before on Earth. In 2023, a 7.6-kilogram space rock was also discovered on the vast ice sheet of Antarctica, which preserves the oldest material in the solar system. The extraterrestrial meteors have repeatedly brought us more clues to understand the solar system. The large area meteor that landed in the southeastern region of China this time can be basically judged as a fire meteor, but expert analysis is still needed to confirm. Reporter AIU from the headquarters reports, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Unexpected Wealth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Unexpected Wealth AIU put away the mini tripod and roughly processed the just recorded video before sending it back to the stage. Just finished sending, my phone rang. Director, the materials have been sent back. What else is there? Oh, such a big grudge. AIU rolled her eyes. Anyone who finally took a few days off and was asked to work overtime remotely couldn't be happy. She originally thought that Qingming Festival was coming and she would come back to pay her respects to her grandparents. Unexpectedly, the landing point of this meteor shower happened to be in her hometown. Xiaoyu, I have received a message that a geological expert from your province will go to Fuding Mountain for on-dot site investigation tomorrow. Look. I understand, I will follow you and get back to you. A.I. you sighed, can I cancel my leave when I go back? This can definitely be considered a business trip. Yes. Why not? It must be possible. Hang up the phone, A.I. you packed her backpack and looked at the surrounding ruins. She is not only unhappy because of the holiday, but also because this temple has been destroyed. This place is called Fuding Mountain, just like many mountains in hilly areas, it is only 500 meters high. But as early as the spring and autumn period and the Warring States period, the abundant copper and iron resources of Fuding Mountain had a small reputation. In the era of cold weapons, the preciousness of copper and iron can be imagined. At that time, Fuding Mountain was under the jurisdiction of the Chu, and throughout history, Chu kings stationed soldiers here for mining. Over time, a small town in the mountains was formed, named Nanxiang. At first, there was only one north.south street in Nanxiang Township, 
starting from the eastern foot of Fuding in the north and connecting to the official road in the south, with a total length of only 3 to 5 kilometers. The entire street is paved with bluestone strips excavated from mining, with the aim of facilitating the transportation of ore by unicycles. Thousands of years have passed, and even the thickest bluestone strips have been pressed into thin bluestone slabs, with ruts engraved on them one after another. Nanxiang is an ancient town, and although Fuding Mountain cannot be considered a deep mountain, the Fuding Temple on the mountain is also known as Shanggu Temple. At first, there was only a very small Zen temple on the mountaintop, with a statue and a monk. Later, with the continuous influx of pilgrims, the temple was able to expand several times, gradually forming buildings such as the main hall, east and west wing rooms, and rear hall. A.I.U. still remembers when she came here with her grandmother to offer incense when she was a child. The main hall has a width of five rooms and a platform about one meter high. The front eaves are painted, while the other three sides are plain and white. The square in front of the hall, although small, is adorned with a large incense burner. There is also a merit monument erected next to it, with the names of grandparents prominently at the forefront. Unexpectedly, a meteor fell a month ago and the entire temple turned into nothing. Fortunately, the monks in the temple noticed something was wrong and all escaped, blessed by the Bodhisattva. At this moment, there was only a deep pit in front of Aiu's eyes, and the burning and pungent smell lingered for a long time. She walked around the outskirts of the ruins, outlining the original appearance of the fooding temple in her mind, and unconsciously circled to the position of the back hall. There used to be an old locust tree here. Looking at the huge black pit in front of her, with half a coke-like tree stump lying at the bottom, Ayu felt sour in her heart. When she was a child, whenever the locust blossoms were fragrant, she always begged her grandfather and grandmother to pick more. Huaihua can be taken home to make steamed cakes, or dried to make steamed buns with huaihua lean meat filling. Since the old man passed away, the sweetness left in his memory has never been tasted again. A thunderous roar. Suddenly, Aiu was startled. Looking up, the sky is blue, the clouds are white, and the wind is clear, without any abnormalities. But I did hear thunder just now, couldn't it be that the thunder alone fell on my heart? As soon as this idea arose, a emerald green light suddenly shone from the scorched soil near the Huaishu pit, and then thousands of emerald awns emerged one after another like hedgehogs. Afraid, Aiu sat beside the earthen pit, staring wide-eyed and at a loss. I have been a journalist for three years and have seen many strange things, but today this scene is somewhat outrageous. In an instant, millions of thoughts flashed through Aiu's heart. The biochemical weapons left by the little devils back then. It's impossible. If something harmful were buried underground in the back hall, the monks in the temple would have belched long ago. Meteor shower is a drifting bottle dropped by aliens. After positioning it well, gather a large army to engulf the earth. It's possible, but it doesn't seem like it either. Not to mention the annual meteor showers around the world, Antarctica alone has frozen countless meteorites. Until the glaciers melted in recent years, those meteorites gradually surfaced on the sea, but no extraterrestrial beings were seen visiting. After about ten minutes, there was no further change in the emerald green, and Aiyu Zhuang dared to look towards the center of the pit. This black and large crater, which was hit by a meteor, is over thirty meters deep, but its edge is only one meter deep, and the glowing spot is right at the center of the bottom of the crater. At this moment, she realized that although the entire fooding temple had turned into scorched earth, the old locust tree in the back hall seemed to be the target. If I guess correctly, the glowing thing is the landing point of the meteor. As if in response to her inner voice, the emerald light gradually converged, and then the earth began to tremble slightly, what kind of ghost? Is the monster about to appear? Aiu was crawling and trying to escape, but to her surprise, she stumbled on her left foot and fell to the ground as soon as she stood up. It only took a few seconds, and by the time she got up again, the demon-like Chui Mang had already caught up with her and pointed straight at the door. 
Damn it, are you really coming at me? Hey, 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 I'm just a little journalist, I didn't even get a review from the editor-in-chief. Can you bully someone else? A.I.U. closed her eyes and covered her face with her hands, futilely resisting with her palms. She thought she was going to be cut into 108 pieces by the emerald light, because those lights gave people an indestructible sharpness as soon as they appeared. Who knew nothing happened? In the world, there was only the sound of one's own rapid breathing, and an icy object pressed against the palm of one's hand. A.I.U. instinctively grasped it and carefully opened her eyes. This is a green stone in the shape of a circular ring, which looks like jade and has extremely high transparency. There is still a gap on the ring, like a jade pendant. A gentleman who can make decisions wears a jade pendant. This type of jade decoration can be traced back to the Neolithic period, and if it were ancient jade, it would have developed AI you pursed her lips, took out a wet tissue from her backpack, carefully cleaned the soil on the jade pendant, and wiped both hands clean. This jade pendant is by no means an ordinary jade accessory, and the just dazzling jade on cannot be fake. Looking left and right, there are no ghosts or shadows in the barren mountains, wild ridges, and scorched earth giant pits. A.I.U. made a decisive decision and put the treasure into his pocket. Perhaps due to a guilty conscience, it takes more than twice as long to go down the mountain than to climb in the morning. It only took A.I.U. over half an hour to return to the old street and head straight to her old house. The Sodot called Old Street, as the name suggests, is the oldest street in Nanxiang. In today's southern villages and towns, most young people have moved to live in Zinjiku, even in the county in provincial capitals. The old streets have left many wooden buildings without residence, as well as old wells, old shops, and sporadic old people who are too lazy to move. When A.I.U. was young, he lived with his grandfather and grandmother on the old street until he was admitted to college. Later, the elderly family passed away one after another, and her old wooden building gradually deteriorated, but at least it was a place to settle down. Upon returning home, A.I.U. immediately nestled in her grandfather's rocking chair and took out the jade pendant, flipping it over and over. The inner and outer circles of the jade pendant are smooth and without any trace, without any characteristics that can indicate the age or origin. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Divine Alien Eyes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Divine Alien Eyes Placing the Jade Pendant in front of me, I could see clearly through at the small courtyard and sky outside the window. A.I. you let out a long sigh. This thing is indeed good, but unfortunately she didn't have the good fortune to stay. She took out a loan in Yenjing to buy a single small apartment and had to pay off a monthly mortgage of 9,000 yuan for not eating or drinking. This loan forces A.I. you not to be late, not to resign, and even not to work overtime. If the jade pendant in her hand is truly jadeite and hard jade, with a long history, she can completely get rid of her mortgage and even retire early. This thing is definitely not a modern handicraft, but if we just sell it like this, no one will believe it is an antique. I don't know if it can be sold for a higher price. Watching, watching, AIU's forehead broke out in a cold sweat. She squinted her left eye slightly, and in her right eye, through the jade pendant, she could see the sparrows on the street utility poles, and even the sparrow's feathered little mouth was clear. Is this thing a telescope? How about further away? Aya Yuzhan looked cautiously at the dilapidated building across the street. The old wooden door texture, scars, flying insects passing by suddenly, the compound eyes of flying insects the more she looked, the more frightened and trembling she became, and Yu Ju became closer and closer to her right eye. Suddenly, the jade ring on my fingertips began to heat up, transforming into a stream of light that flowed into my right eye below. Ow! What did it feel like to faint from the pain for the first time in her life, but in an instant, A.I.U. regained consciousness. Her eyes didn't hurt anymore, but the scene in front of her made her even more frightened. It seemed like being dragged into a daydream, 
an A.I. you found herself standing in the wilderness wrapped in animal skin, dressed properly as a primitive jungle princess. Above her head was a deep purple sky, and beside her were hundreds of boys and girls who were just as naked as her. The most peculiar thing is that everyone around her has a seductive right eye. The eyeballs on everyone's right are colorful, except for those without black. Through the pupils of the child beside her, she also saw clearly her right eye. Emerald Green Based on the experience before the coma, AI you probably guessed what the jade pendant was. It is definitely not a jade ornament, but a vest adorned eyeball. More likely, the jade pendant I saw earlier was just an illusion. AI you was having wild thoughts in her mind, but her body slowly lay down with everyone. I saw hundreds of teenagers and girls lying on the dirty ground, pacing in a posture resembling a dragon swinging its tail, while maintaining their breathing at a peculiar frequency. About half an hour later, they changed their posture to tiger roaring mountain forest again. AIU felt like she was schizophrenic, knowing clearly that she was dreaming while involuntarily doing strange primitive Pilates. She is not sure what she is doing, but she knows what she wants to do and is meticulous throughout the process. During this period, Whenever someone's movements were not standard, there would be a roar in the sky, landing a purple lightning bolt towards that person. AIU was fortunate enough to have been struck by lightning three times, and half of her exposed shoulders turned black. She could even smell the smell of burnt meat. Until the complete set of nine postures ended, AIU clenched her fist in surprise. Her strength seems to have increased significantly. With every move and gesture, one can clearly feel that their body has become much lighter. What kind of immortal gymnastics is this? It's so powerful before waking up from shock, an old man with purple right pupils suddenly appeared in mid-air. With this person's appearance, the deep purple sky above also returned to the normal color of blue sky and white clouds. A.I.U. secretly roast in her heart that it was the old man whose feelings had just struck her. The eyes of my divine eye clan are born as treasures of the law, and can eventually grow into artifacts. They can see through all illusions, and can also make people fall into illusions. They are the pride of my clan and the source of coveted trouble. From today on, you officially start practicing the law, but you must not slack off in forging your body. Before you have the ability to protect yourself, do not expose your divine eye. The language spoken by the old man was strange and unfamiliar, but unfortunately, A.I.U. could understand it. After he finished this lengthy admonition, a simple and ancient animal skin suddenly appeared in A.I.U.'s mind, which depicted the complete nine forms of forging body, tuna method, and spell mnemonic. The nine body refining techniques are commonly used by our divine race, and you have already mastered them to a small extent. The breathing method is a mind technique that enhances magic power. Those techniques are small tricks that use the power of laws to learn self.defense before you have mastered them. However, the advancement of the divine eye has nothing to do with these, it depends on your own perception. AIU's heart was shaken and she woke up from her sleep. Opening my eyes and seeing the familiar wooden building, my heart felt slightly at ease. The role of animal skin in my mind is incredibly clear, indicating that the dream I just had was also real. She trembled as she took out her phone and turned on selfie mode. The face on the screen had an overly frightened expression. The left eye remained as usual, while the right eye unexpectedly turned emerald green. Looking out the window, not only is the right eye comparable to a thousand mile eye with a microscope, but even mild myopia in the left eye has healed without treatment. It's really amazing, but how can I go out in the future? This color is too seductive, even wearing beautiful pupils can't cover it up. AIU threw away her phone, closed her eyes, and helped her forehead. The only thing she could seek help from now was the role of animal skin in her mind. After carefully reading the entire text, I finally came across a sentence in the Divine Consciousness section of the Tuna sect. Only by entering the realm of chi refining can one control the divine eye for personal use is it difficult. Do you really need to cultivate? 
A.I.U. clenched her fists and twisted the long ponytail into a ball-shaped head with three or two strokes. Take a deep breath and lie on the floor of your own house, trying to pose in the first position of the nine body exercises. She wanted to see if this body refining technique was real, and if it had the same miraculous effect as in her dream, it wouldn't be too late to try the breathing method again. Unexpectedly, the first move that could be easily completed in a dream would be difficult to achieve in reality. The shape resembling a dragon swinging its tail, combined with its unique breathing rate, triggered a coordinated vibration of the muscles throughout the body, even the bones making a clicking sound. A.I.U. persisted for less than a minute before lying paralyzed on the ground. What marathons and triathlons are all scumbags compared to this? After resting for a long time, she finally remembered what the old man with purple pupils had said in her dream. Forging the body into nine small forms. Presumably, that dream was the first-hand experience of the old master with green pupils. That person should also be a girl. She entrusted this divine eye to someone who was destined, and also gave them a dream as a gift, so that they could obtain the beast skin technique. When the dream purple eyes old man passed on the subsequent martial arts, the hundreds of young people all achieved a small level of physical fitness. They look at most 11 or 12 years old and are true gods. On the other hand, a mature mortal is already 20.5 years old. A.I.U. glanced at the time and realized that it was already past 2 p.m. Tomorrow morning, the provincial research team is expected to arrive in Nanxiang Township. Since she has verified the authenticity of those cultivation techniques, she must hurry up and enter the so.called Qi refining period, otherwise she will only be able to see those people in sunglasses tomorrow. Regardless of whether the other party is uncomfortable or not, wearing sunglasses is not enough for reporting. There is a thick set of work rules in Taiwan for journalists who appear on camera, and if one of them is violated, their salary will be deducted. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Rebirth and Transformation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Rebirth and Transformation at the Zinjiku Vegetable Market Aunt Song, who sells breakfast, had a look of relief and concern on her face, occasionally turning back to look at the girl among the diners. This child can also be considered as she watched her grow up. Since childhood, she has been eating breakfast with her grandparents at her shop. I haven't seen it for half a year, and it seems that AIU has grown again. How can a girl of 20.5 still grow? In terms of appearance, AIU probably followed her father, and when she was a child, her eyebrows and eyes had a masculine aura. Now that it has grown, the outline of the face is still slightly hard, not as round as a typical little girl. Fortunately, she left a long head of hair, which was loosely wrapped behind her head with a wooden hairpin, making her look slightly softer. With just this appearance and height, it's not a problem to dress up a bit and become a model, but just run around the world like a man. Up and down the mountains and down the sea, in the wind and sun, going anywhere. The more Aunt Song looked at it, the rarer it became, and the more it became, the more she felt heartbroken. In my heart, I secretly cursed AIU's parents again. A good life is just a matter of time, but the girl got divorced when she was only two years old. Xiaoyu, I haven't seen you for half a year. Your appetite has grown. After turning around for the nth time, Aunt Song couldn't help but ask, and her loud voice made A.I.U. blush in the blink of an eye. Deep dot fried dough sticks, shaomai, fried glutinous rice cakes, rice dumplings, steamed stuffed buns, soybean milk. I really ate a lot today. I forgot to eat two meals yesterday, so I won't have to make up for it today. Besides, your appetite is not good, are you skilled? Didn't you eat two meals? Aunt Song waved her spoon and angrily said, You had indigestion when you were a child, don't you remember? Oh, you're so thin you only have a big head left. How many times have your grandparents carried you to the hospital? You can't waste your body like this in the future. Indigestion probably happened when AIU was three years old, and she really doesn't remember. When I grew up, 
I heard from my neighbors that my grandmother not only ran to the county hospital, but also searched for barefoot doctors in the surrounding areas. In order to treat that difficult gastrointestinal disease, AIU was forced to eat many unbelievable things. What bamboo insects, beeswax, clove ginger boiled milk, cardamom congee I don't know which earthworks had a miraculous effect in the end, but they also left a sequelae for AIU, called irritable bowel syndrome. Simply put, her intestines are particularly sensitive, and eating a little stimulating food, not very clean roadside snacks, or in a bad mood can easily cause diarrhea. Auntie Song, I used to be too delicate when I was a child. Now my body is in good condition and I definitely can't hold on or get hungry. A.I. Yushan smiled and glanced at the road in the direction of the county town, frowning slightly. The southern township is very small, with only two main roads running between it. As long as you guard the only intersection here at the vegetable market, you can block all vehicles from east, west, north, south, and north. With just one glance, her right eye could see clearly a bus with a provincial license plate two or three kilometers away. No need to guess, the person sitting on this bus must be a research team from the provincial capital. A.I.U. drank soybean milk in two or three mouthfuls, then scanned the yard and gave Aunt Song a hundred yuan. Aunt, I have to go up the mountain today to take some pictures. You can help me pick out a little cock later. I'll come back to stew it at noon. Okay, go, go. I'll have the chicken vendor clean up and put you in the yard. A.I.U. thanked Aunt Song and hurriedly took a shortcut towards Fooding Temple. The mountain road is rugged, and buses dare not drive too fast. AIU, with a night of rebirth like physical strength, could definitely arrive at the destination ahead of the bus. The first step in practicing the Dharma is to sense Qi. Only by sensing spiritual energy can one capture it and then refine it into one's own mana, which is called refining energy. AIU stayed up for half an afternoon yesterday, following the instructions of the animal skin roll, closing her eyes and meditating in a regular manner. The result was nothing except for a sore back and waist. So I opened my eyes and carefully observed the surroundings with my right eye. Look, it's the instinct of the divine eye. Even though AI you had not yet developed her divine sense, her divine pupils could still sense what she was thinking in her heart. It was effortless to distinguish the five colored dust particles floating in the air. After clarifying the goal, it is much easier to use the mind technique and express oneself with a targeted approach. Those rare five spiritual energies are all leaking into the body through the mouth and nose. Immediately after, A.I. you sensed the existence of meridians for the first time. Then her lower abdomen warmed slightly, and she sensed the so dot called Dantian. Then, after nine weeks of luck, it will flow into the elixir field, and the beginner's journey of refining qi will come naturally, and the divine consciousness will be newly opened. At the moment of possessing divine sense, A.I. you understood what this ability was, its relationship with the divine eye, and how to use divine sense. That kind of familiarity is almost innate, just like she has never practiced the nine body exercises, never learned the methods and techniques, but understands all the key points without a teacher. What is lacking is only practical experience, not practical experience. These experiences are not just emerging in a flash, only when AIU reaches a certain threshold will she appropriately leak out so much. If it weren't for her clear thinking and her lack of subjective consciousness, AIU couldn't help but doubt whether she was controlled by her old master. When the sky was bright, AIU finally managed to control the color of his pupils. After trying several times in front of the mirror, she was certain that even if she simply looked at things, her pupils could always maintain their disguise. Once the ability is used, this guy becomes uncontrollable and immediately reveals his true form. And the power of Shintong is more interesting, as AIU currently only senses two abilities. One is bewitching, which has a similar effect to hypnosis. As long as the other person looks into their own eyes, they can hypnotize them. The duration and effect of action are directly linked to one's spiritual awareness and cultivation. 
The second is to assist in gathering qi during cultivation, which is quite impressive. The spiritual energy on earth is thin, and relying solely on one's own hard work and cultivation, one will never have a bright future in this lifetime. Shentong is like a magnet, able to gather free spiritual energy around and maintain the necessary cultivation. Unless the place is devoid of spiritual energy, there is no trace of spiritual energy present. Aiu was tidying up yesterday's harvest while sprinting along the mountain path. Visually, the speed is around 30 km per hour, which is slightly faster than a typical electric scooter. The body technique for this journey is a divine action technique among the many techniques of the beast skin scroll. In short, the gods who truly master the rules walk in this way. A minor cultivator who has not yet become a god can only play the edge ball and imitate the power of laws with his own cultivation of magic. The effect is 108,000 miles inferior to the true divine action, but it is also 108,000 miles stronger than ordinary people. As one's cultivation level increases, the effect of divine actions will also improve. AIU's feeling was the most direct. She estimated that there was only one layer of qi refining, and it only took about 10 minutes from Zinjiku to the mountaintop. After waiting for a moment, the delayed bus finally stopped outside the ruins of Fuding Temple. The first person to get off was a boy who looked similar in age to Aiu. Seeing the other party's ghostly expression, Aiu quickly pulled out his press card. Hello, I'm a reporter from the front desk and a native of Nanxiang Township. I'm going back to my hometown for the holidays these two days. I heard that you are going to visit here, and I want to do some filming and interviews with you. So it's a journalist. Hello, my name is Yang Fan. The boy breathed a sigh of relief and pointed to the few people who were getting off the car one after another behind him. That's Professor Liu from our Provincial University of Science and Technology. The others are all graduate students majoring in geology. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Truncated Who. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5. Truncated Who. A total of seven people got off the bus, and after Yang Fan and Professor Liu explained a few words, AIU successfully joined the team. In no time, she knew why the professor leading the team was so cheerful. Xiao Ai, besides copper and iron, is there a gold mine in the Fuding Mountains? Does this area produce coal? Xiao Ai, come here. The peak of this main peak looks like a big iron pot, so it is called Fuding Mountain. At an altitude of 486 meters, did you measure the edge or bottom of the pot? When was the data? Xiao Ai, where is the exact location of the locust tree you mentioned? Xiao Ai. Aiu was two years old and had no chance to ask any questions after setting up the camera. Throughout the process, Professor Liu used him as a local encyclopedia. She didn't know much about the information, so she had to keep searching and even called the county propaganda department. After finally catching a glimpse of a gap, Aiu intervened and said, Professor Liu, there was news recently that it was a meteor. Can you please educate us on this? I'm just looking for it, isn't it? Professor Liu frowned and said in confusion, I've gone to see several landing sites. It's strange, why not? Aiu glanced at the old professor with a nagging expression in his eyes, unsure why. Yang Fan explained upon seeing the situation, the formation of meteors is usually caused by space matter such as cosmic dust or solid blocks, which are attracted by the Earth's gravity when approaching the Earth and then pass through the atmosphere at high speed. Those space substances are called meteoroids, and when the mass of the meteoroid reaches a certain scale, it will be very bright when passing through the atmosphere. We call it a meteor, just like this meteor. Yang Fan pointed to Professor Liu and said, the teacher is looking for meteorites. Fire meteors, due to their large size, usually do not burn completely when they land on Earth, leaving behind some meteorites. It's strange, why didn't there be any meteorites in this fire meteor? Aiu scratched her right eyebrow with a hint of guilt. There was actually a meteorite, 
but she had cut off her beard. Although no extraterrestrial meteorites were found, Professor Liu and his students still received unexpected joy. In the ruins of Fuding Temple, some minerals that clearly do not belong to this area have been discovered. Preliminary on-dot site testing shows that the main component is gold, in addition to containing some unknown minerals. Professor Liu ran back to the bus and used the equipment brought with him to tinker for over an hour. Finally, it can be concluded that these extraterrestrial minerals have a history of at least 4 billion years. The specific ingredients and year need to be taken back to the laboratory for further research to confirm. A sentence of 4 billion years made AI use eyelids skip a beat. It is unknown whether the essence of Shintong is a stone or some form of energy. If it is also a stone, those mineral fragments may have been unearthed together with it. If it is a certain energy body, the debris may also be the mineral coating that envelopes it. In short, this thing was buried in an unknown place, and it took at least 4 billion years for it to reappear. Is the divine race such an ancient existence? You should know that the earth has only been around 6.5 billion years since its birth. AIU, who had a ghost in her heart, stopped talking and instead focused on filming the work process of the inspection team. The on-dot screen footage has been recorded, just capture enough footage for editing, and this message is considered complete. As for whether the editor can adopt it and which time period of news and information to include, it is not something she can control. The inspection work was efficiently completed in less than three hours, and Professor A.I. Euling and his team strolled around the old street before finally getting the people onto the car. Returning home, AIU was overjoyed as soon as he pushed the courtyard door. There is a plastic bag hanging from the wooden hook used for hanging umbrellas behind the door. Inside is a clean little rooster and a small handful of fresh chestnuts that have been peeled off. Aunt Song suggested that she use roasted chicken with chestnuts. After cooking her own meal, AIU decided to stay at home and work diligently in the afternoon. As soon as I opened the computer, the mayor of Nanxiang Township arrived, holding his small military belly and blowing his beard at AIU, staring blankly. Xiaoyu, you're too good at handling things. People from the province don't even tell me. If your old house leaks rain this summer, I'll take care of it. AIU reluctantly dug out his ear, and mayor who was determined to climb up the ladder, constantly trying to gather political achievements. So that every time she goes back to her hometown, she has to deal with all kinds of propaganda demands of the mayor. The problem is that although she has entered the front office, AIU is only a small reporter, and her ability is limited. Mayor Hu, those people are just professors from the Provincial Science and Engineering Department, leading a few graduate students to work on a project. It doesn't make much difference whether you see them or not. How about I mention a few more words about our Nanxiang when I'm writing? Universities. That's really useless. Mayor Hu shook his head in disappointment and said, Do you have any resources on your economic channel? How can those Tang Dynasty mines and old streets on Fuding Mountain be turned into a tourism project? We're not inferior to the neighboring hot spring town. Tourism projects need to consider many comprehensive factors. Transportation, service, culture. What do we have? An old street with a few dark mining caves. AIU was busy editing the video and said without looking up. Those tourism projects are all real estate projects under the guise of culture, and investors cannot consider input.output. Who can we sell high.end residential buildings in Nanxiang? At least the neighboring hot spring town can keep tourists for three to five days, and those vacation villas can come in handy. Do we have anything here that can keep people? Mayor who was scolded to the point where he had nothing to say. He lit a cigarette and choked himself, coughing for a while. AIU lifted her head from the computer and was surprised to find that she had just started speaking quite impolitely. Did you just drift off after learning how to cultivate? This mentality is not a good omen. In fact, Mayor Hu is quite good, stronger than many grassroots officials and fans, and has actually done a lot for Nanxiang. For example, 
treating the sewage discharge from mining plants, regulating parking spaces in small towns, planting many camphor trees as roadside trees, and integrating wild tea on the mountain into organic tea gardens in recent years, the heavily polluted mining town of Nanxiang has visibly changed its appearance. The mountains and waters are beautiful, and even sparrows are chirping more. Mayor Hu, the water quality in the neighboring hot spring town is not good, and there are so many people suffering from stone diseases there that it's scary. Our environment is good, and there are many elderly people who live long lives. You can find some sanatoriums to cooperate with and build a name for Changshou South Township. These wooden buildings on our old street are all good houses for repair. As long as the infrastructure is good, living there is quiet and comfortable, and the air is still good when backed by Fooding Mountain. Mayor Hu's eyes lit up and he said, Yes, there are many villages and towns in Nanxiang that are over a hundred years old, and there are even more people in their eighties and nineties. All right, if you can think about this, there's something going on. Watching the mayor leave in a gust of wind, AIU wiped away her sweat and finally fooled her away. If this proposal is really adopted and made, the old house of my grandparents will be requisitioned. Whether for rent or transfer, you can receive a certain amount of money to pay off your mortgage. Yujua is gone, even if AIU can cultivate, she cannot change the fact that she is a poor ghost. And what about the nine body exercises? Practicing them for just one minute greatly increased her appetite, and in the future, the cost of meals will be worrying. AIU touched her stomach and just had lunch, she seemed to be hungry again. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Farewell to Qingming Festival You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Farewell to Qingming Festival in the southern valley of Fuding Mountain, large bamboo forests sway in the spring breeze. Yellow-green and pink paper flags can be seen everywhere in the forest, as well as firecracker debris mixed in thick bamboo leaves. AIU carefully avoided the mounds with a small basket, searching for her ancestors. She wants to worship her grandfather's parents, grandmother's parents, grandfather and grandmother. As for the relatives on my father's side, I heard they are not in Jiangnan, and AIU has never seen them either. Her mother, who even follows her surname, doesn't need to worry about those ancestors. Every Qingming festival, the rest of the family goes on a spring outing, but AIU is alone in wiping tombstones, planting colorful flags, weeding, offering sacrifices, burning paper money, setting off firecrackers, and worshipping ancestors it has been like this every year for seven years. Sitting in front of the joint tomb of my grandfather and grandmother, looking at the cold names on the inscriptions. AIU endured the urge to explore the grave without using her divine sense, reporting every detail of her life word by word. Grandma, I've grown a little taller these past few days, didn't I expect it? 1.73 meters. I've recently found a way to strengthen my body. I can't say anything about it, but I'm sure I'll live longer than you too in the future. I definitely won't burp just because of a stroke or high blood pressure. Now my monthly salary is 16,800 yuan. After deducting the five insurances and one fund, as well as the mortgage, I have less than 3,000 yuan left. When I go back, I want to apply for a job transfer and work as a special investigative journalist in the legal column. I should be able to earn more. Mayor Hu is full of energy now. If the sanatorium really succeeds, I want to sell the old house. You won't blame me, will you? The fooding temple is gone, and the old locust tree is also gone. It's not interesting to keep the old house. When the sun rose above her head, AIU returned home carrying the removed offerings. A car parked at the entrance of the old house, it should be AI Giant Pain who has returned. Pushing the door open, I saw a middle dot aged woman with short hair, a suit, and high heels half lying on the rocking chair in the courtyard. My mother is almost fifty years old and has taken good care of herself. Have you finished bowing? Hmm. A.I. you nodded and said lightly, my train ticket for the evening will leave soon. Remember to turn on the power switch, 
turn off the water meter, and lock the door when you leave. Every year during the Qingming festival, AI Giant Pain also returns to her hometown to worship her ancestors, but AI Yu never makes an appointment with her. It's not easy to get together because each of them has their own things. Secondly, we are really not familiar with each other, and there is no need to pretend to be very familiar. Xiaoyu, do you want to go abroad? AI Yu was about to enter the house to pack his backpack when he turned his head in surprise and said, has your husband been transferred back to Germany? Amos' assignment has expired, and I am applying for a visa. We will be leaving next month. AI Giant Pain has long been accustomed to the way her daughter talks to her, and over the years, she has also accepted relationships with each other like familiar strangers. But when she really wanted to immigrate with her youngest son and husband, she suddenly felt reluctant to leave AI Yu behind. Xiaoyu, if you're willing to go to Germany, I can. Don't. AI Yu waved her hand, you're a family. What's it like to get involved? Besides, I don't speak German. Are you going to Berlin to beg for food? AI Giant Pain and her current husband have a mixed race son who is only five years old. When the little one first saw AI Yu, he opened his mouth and was an ant, almost infuriating her cheap sister to death. Why don't I leave you the house in Yenjing? That's my house, and it has nothing to do with Amos. We agreed a long time ago that after work, I will support myself and no longer spend your money. AIU smiled and shook her head. They are both Taurus, both obsessed with material possessions and cleanliness. Seeing a layer of sadness surge in AI Giant Pain's eyes, AIU had to drag a small stool and sit next to her. After you settle down over there, give me a contact information. If I don't have any food one day, I will definitely ask for your help. I don't need it now. AI Giant Pain sighed and wanted to hug AIU feeling that she didn't have the qualifications. After a moment of hesitation, I had to give up. Xiaoyu, we will have fewer opportunities to meet in the future. There are some things I would like to talk to you about now. You say, I'm listening. I met your father while working. He was an orphan before we got married, so we settled down in the county town here and started our own business together. After you were born, his family found him. We have different opinions on where our small family should go. So we divorced and the child belongs to me. AIU remained silent. She had heard her grandmother talk about this past. The old lady said that her parents were too young and impulsive at that time. She said they would get married and divorce. Both of them are very independent, with only themselves in their hearts, completely ignoring what to do with having a child. Because of this, the old man and the old lady kept AIU by their side. I am afraid that my grandson will suffer for nothing with his daughter, and I am also afraid that it will be difficult for her daughter to remarry with her children. In short, AIU has never had the concept of parents since she could remember, nor can she talk about love and hate. AI Giant Pain is very aware of this, so every time she talks to AIU, she pays great attention to her tone and attitude afraid of causing her daughter to dislike her. Later on, your father and I both started our own new families. As our minds matured, we both have a relatively smooth life now, but I'm sorry for you. I'm telling you this in the hope that you won't be afraid of marriage. We are a typical antagonist, and you must have the ability to live better than us. Can this be considered as urging marriage? A.I. You looked at her mother's nervous expression and didn't know what to say. Cough, that, I haven't found a suitable one yet. If I did, it would definitely end. Don't worry. It wasn't until he boarded the high dot speed train heading north that A.I. You breathed a sigh of relief. As the parting approached, A.I. Giant Pain became particularly sticky and insisted on driving her to the high dot speed railway station. The peculiar self-blame style of urging marriage made AI you unable to bear it. She is now a cultivator, and if her cultivation goes smoothly, her lifespan will be infinitely extended in a stepped manner. Even if one stays in the qi refining stage for a lifetime, regardless of appearance or physical function, 
they will always be young due to cultivation. How else can we find a partner? The thought of carrying a face in her twenties to bid farewell to the old man with white hair, and kneeling beside her several sons and daughters in their fifties and sixties, made A.I. you shudder. How many billions of people around the world secretly poke and practice? How many male cultivators are there among these people? How many of these male cultivators can grow on her aesthetic? At the same time, the other party also needs to look up to her and not dislike the fact that this woman looks like a man. It's too difficult. A.I.U. shook her head and tossed the matter of getting married out of her mind, enthusiastically playing with the latest Leica at hand. This model has not been launched in China yet, and she estimates that she cannot afford it even if she doesn't eat, drink, or pay off her mortgage for two years. When AI Giant Payne stuffed the camera bag over, she solemnly declared that it was a gift bought by Amos specifically for her return to China and asked her to accept it. Because immigrants took away their mother, they fell in love with her and gave her a great camera as a gesture of apology. This damn German if Amos gave several hundred thousand directly, AI you would definitely not want it. If it were a camera, it would be really difficult to refuse, let alone equipped with a full set of lenses. End of this chapter Chapter 7 I am her sister. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 I am her sister The train arrived at the station at around 10 o'clock at night, and it was almost 12 o'clock when I took a taxi back to my home in Yenjing. A.I.U. dragged her luggage into the community, just wanting to go home and sleep quickly. When I walked to the entrance control of my own unit, I heard a dong sound. In the middle of the night, it seemed like something heavy suddenly fell to the ground. Following closely behind was a man's inquiry, Miss, are you okay? Why don't you wait and I'll take you somewhere else? A.I.U. turned her head suspiciously and stood still, only letting her divine sense cover her voice. The parking space at the corner ahead is a small Buick with wide open front and rear doors. A girl with heavy makeup, a low-cut short skirt for nurses, black silk and red high heels, was struggling to get up from the ground, trying to sit on the ground by leaning against the car door. There is still a male driver wearing a driver's uniform squatting beside her. The latter is at a loss, neither helping nor not helping. The girl frowned and muttered, My sister, I'll be back today and I won't be leaving. A.I.U.'s heart lit up with an unknown flame, and she strode over with her suitcase. Master, I am her sister. Could you please help me carry the box? I will help her upstairs. Oh my goodness, I can be considered saved. The substitute driver felt relieved and first checked the phone number of the girl on the ground with AIU, before finally handing her over with peace of mind. I met by Tian Tian a year ago when AIU was interviewing China, Chic Art Week in a bar street. The bar street in the dark is noisy and chaotic. If it weren't for work, AIU wouldn't come to such a place on a regular basis. That day, as I was about to pack up my equipment and go home, I saw a few sneaky men dragging a girl into the alleyway like burlap bags. AIU and his partner's male camera exchanged glances and chased after him with a tripod in hand. After rescuing the person, it was discovered that the girl had just turned 18 years old and was holding an adult party with friends at a bar. As a result, I drank too much and was picked up by someone. There are many bars and streets in Yenjing, which are different from music bars in Rongcheng. The most famous bar here is Corpse Picking. Those beautiful women who were drunk and fragmented suddenly fell to the ground while walking, and picking them up was a romantic encounter. For the girl who was picked up, it was a lifelong tragedy. A few days later, Bai Tian Tian was dragged by her father to come knocking on the door to express her gratitude. A.I.U. only then found out that she and this girl have the same father. Bai Tian Tian is the daughter of Bai Run's second marriage. Since her parents divorced, A.I.U. has never seen her father. On her birthday every year, my grandmother will show her a transfer record. She can afford the down payment for this small apartment, thanks to the birthday gift that she has accumulated for many years. Years later, seeing Bai Run again, 
Aiyu felt no waves in her heart. On the contrary, it was against by Tian Tian, which gave rise to a feeling of hatred towards iron and steel. Even if it's a half-sister, it's also her sister. How could she be so silly? The next morning, Bai Tian Tian was awakened by the smell of century egg lean meat congee. When I opened my eyes, I found myself lying on the familiar sofa, about to stretch out, with a cold face imprinted in my eyes. Sister, it's really scary when you're not laughing. Aiu has just completed the body calcination task, and his expressionless face is tiring, but it's not that he's feeling angry. Wake up. Aiu said lightly, is the young lady from Shangpin real estate dressing up like this to work part dot time and earn some extra income? I can't think so hard. Bai Tian Tian shook her head hastily and explained in a flustered manner, yesterday there was a masquerade party. It was really like our classmates in the department playing together, there were no messy people. Playing. Who's cheaper? Aiu reached out and hooked by Tian Tian's collar, which was not too far from her belly. For the masquerade party, it's not just about wearing weird clothes. Bai Tian Tian hugged the fabric up, feeling a little guilty. I had almost finished drinking yesterday and wanted to withdraw. That slut Xia Ze stopped me from leaving. I pretended to go to the restroom and found a chance to escape. It was too late at that time and I couldn't go back to the dormitory, so I had to come and join you. Aiu gritted her teeth. This guy also knows that dressing up like this and going straight home won't have a good ending, and he knows how to find a substitute driver, which shows that he was sober at that time. Later on, it was estimated that I had been waiting for myself for too long, and the alcohol gradually increased in intensity before becoming increasingly dizzy. Go take a shower, change clothes, and have breakfast. Brush your teeth well, your mouth smells so bad. For breakfast, Aiu made century egg lean meat congee and small deep dot fried dough sticks by herself. One of the sisters has developed an appetite recently, and the other one was drinking yesterday, and didn't eat anything at all. There was no other sound on the table except for a grunt. Until he put down his bowl, Aiu asked, are you going back to school or home? There's no class in the morning, I'll catch up at your house. Baitian Tian was very insightful and took the initiative to tidy up the dishes. While washing dishes, he flattered and said, are you free tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? Do you want to come to my house for dinner? Tomorrow I will return to work to cancel my leave. I'm probably not available recently. What's the matter with Lao Bai? Just hit the nail on the head or something, I hate it the most. He wants to introduce a friend's son to you, Shirada hesitated and said A.I. you smiled angrily, and those two were truly married. They have been divorced for over twenty years and still have such a tacit understanding. They coincidentally use their own methods to urge marriage. Seeing that Aiu's face was showing signs of turning blue, by Tian Tian hurriedly said, I told him you must be too lazy to talk to him, but the old man doesn't listen. He's really busy with everything. What did that person do? Surgeons from top-tier hospitals are considered young and motivated. Are you really willing to go on blind dates? Dot. Aiu rolled her eyes, I just wanted to get a glimpse of Lao Bai's way of looking at people, I didn't plan to go to your house for dinner. Baidian Tian was shocked and gave the old lady a wet thumb. What she admires most about Aiu is that she always remains calm. I have known each other for over a year, but I haven't seen why Aiu has been involved in anything. Whether angry or happy, at most the expression is unpredictable, and speaking and doing things are still very objective. Sister, I think so. The old man may not really want to urge you to find a partner. He's just trying his best to find some presence in your life. Aiu raised her eyebrows, and she also saw it, but didn't know what to respond to. If we compare this biological father to Amos, the former is like a big tree sheltering from wind and rain, while the latter is like a whip. Amos is a multinational executive, a typical westerner, and also a strict father. 
My wife A.I. Jian Payne is determined to be strong throughout her life. She started her own business as a boss and owns a chain catering enterprise. Bai Rund is the heir of the family business, like a landlord and wealthy man, doting on his daughter recklessly. Baidian Tian's mother is a typical wealthy lady who takes care of herself and does nothing. The economic conditions of these two remarried families are quite favorable, but the children they cultivate have two completely different personalities. As for A.I. Yu himself, he follows his father in appearance and his mother in temperament. Although they divorced, they didn't let themselves be short of food and clothing. Grandparents, on the other hand, added the indispensable care from childhood. The only downside is probably being too independent. End of this chapter Chapter 8 I Met You you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 I met you after returning to work, AIU was busy with cancelling her leave and filling out reimbursement forms in the social news department of the headquarters. After finishing a bunch of tables, I knocked on the glass door of the director's office. Director Poo. Enter. Did you put on makeup today? Puziang looked up with a hint of confusion AIU frowned and said, I don't know that at all you don't know. I know. Puziang slammed the table excitedly and said, I must have been wearing beautiful glasses, my eyes are different. No wonder they look so wrong. There's light in my eyes, and my whole body has softened a lot. A.I. You didn't make a decision on whether or not, but he didn't show any signs on his face and felt uneasy in his heart. The director's eyes are really poisonous, just think you're praising me, A.I. You pouted and stuffed an application under the director's nose. Could you please sign this application? Do you want to investigate the rule of law? Pu Siyang asked in a long tail tone, with an expression on his face that was self-evident. Are you crazy? Are you tired of living? Which female journalist is willing to go to that high-risk program group? Legal investigations often involve journalists being beaten or even killed for being undercover agents. They are doing plain clothes work, but they are not holding guns in their hands, but cameras. There are quite a lot of subsidies over there, I'm too poor. AIU's eyes were bright and his words were particularly sincere, with an attitude of asking for money but not risking his life. Pu Siyang coughed and got up to close the office door, even closing the blinds. You didn't hear any rumors, did you? He asked solemnly, what kind of rumors? A.I. You looked confused, she really just wanted to make more money. The social news department doesn't have many opportunities to get paid for transportation. She is a school recruitment employee with no background, and she can't even get into the high oil and water gap. Only by taking risks and earning some hard money. I used to be afraid of death and didn't dare to actually submit a job transfer application, but it's different when I get the divine eye. A.I. You thinks he can still be called half a master. If there is any danger, even if she cannot be defeated, she can still run away. Puziang scratched his hair impatiently and carefully agreed, okay, let me ask if there is a shortage of people in the rule of law. But whether they accept you or not doesn't count. There needs to be an internal interview. This matter needs to be done as soon as possible and can't be delayed. A.I.U. was even more confused. What is there that I don't know about? Someone has taken a liking to you, this beautiful woman. Pu Siyang couldn't help but gasp. There is never a shortage of beautiful women on television. Pu Siyang entered Taiwan in his twenties and has been there for over a decade now. The beautiful women I have seen are not only like clouds, but also like weaving. I can't remember the beautiful women who are praised and stepped into the mud. AIU is also beautiful, and the little girl entered the stage after graduating from college. On the day she reported, Pu Siyang was particularly impressed. Others are trying their best to dress themselves up, and this girl's total body does not exceed 500 yuan, let alone eyebrow and eye painting. But she looks really beautiful. The face shape is longer, the nose shape is longer, and the atrium is also longer, with a standard three-court and five eyes. The eyebrows are broad, 
The nose bridge is high and straight, but the nose tip is small and delicate. The well-defined skeletal structure exudes a cool temperament, while the long lines of facial features highlight beauty. After combining these two into one, the whole face is particularly heroic and full of youthful feeling. In short, AIU does not belong to the category of traditional beauties. She should be the typical type of, beauty lies in the bones, not in the skin, but it is difficult to distinguish whether this beauty is male or female. This is the real deal, a face that hasn't been cut before, how rare. Your second text message about the shooting star on the top of the cauldron, when you entered the mirror, your hair was tied up with a hairpin. Remember. Seeing AI you nodding dumbfounded, Pu Siyang sighed and said, I didn't realize before that you, a girl, still have some classical beauty. There was a big director who expressed his intention to let you go to film with Zhao's deputy. As for that director, his reputation in that area was not very good. Choosing a concubine is not uncommon, and the director gave AIU a glance to understand. No wonder everyone I met today in the pantry, by the copier, and in the bathroom looked different. Eating melons on one's own head, this feeling is really indescribable. AIU knows that she is not ugly and also knows that there are many chaotic things on the TV station. So in the workplace and on camera, she always ends up with a rubber band tied around her ponytail, let alone makeup to embellish herself. I didn't expect to get into trouble with the only hairstyle change. She had just started practicing that day and her mind was completely focused on work. Wearing my favorite hairstyle and appearing on camera, I regret it. If I don't nod, then that's all. Zhao Tai can't force me to dedicate myself, can he? Yes. It's a civilized society, Pu Siyang sneered. But if you don't cooperate openly, you won't want to hang out on stage in the future. Some people will give you small shoes. Transferring to investigate the rule of law happened to be a way to break the deadlock. Because those special columns are not under the management of Deputy Director Zhao. That afternoon, AIU rushed to the legal investigation interview with a fierce roar. The director here is Chui Jifeng, who is almost 50 years old and used to work in the propaganda department of a certain police force. AIU's resume was placed on the computer desktop, and he didn't even look carefully. The basic skills of journalists who can enter the main station are definitely not a problem, but their ability to interview, write news, and edit in this column is far from enough. Chui Jifeng's first impression of AIU was very good, clean, and handsome. If it was the temperament of a warbler, a bird, and a swallow, he would simply reject it. Why didn't you take the lawyer qualification exam when you studied law in college? AIU was stunned for a moment, thinking that the other party would ask about the director. After thinking for a moment, he honestly said, when I was very young, my parents divorced. Coincidentally, the first lawyer I interned with was specifically handling divorce lawsuits, so I had some resistance. The more common reason is the fear of trouble. Being a lawyer all day is about playing word games, not just digging holes for others or exploiting their loopholes. Divorce lawyers are also associated with various trivial matters. This job is naturally opposed to her personality and cannot be enjoyed. As early as the second semester of her freshman year, AIU applied for a self.study exam in journalism and actively sought every opportunity to intern in various media. Chui Jifeng seemed to be able to discern those unfinished words and smiled lightly, saying, I roughly understand why you don't want to stay in the social news department. You're a broken chicken, your family is short, your world is full of ups and downs, and it's rare to see many strange things. AIU nodded awkwardly. She hates a stagnant life, a life with an end in sight, and being with people whose patterns are even smaller than a microscope. I hate having to settle for the status quo and even submit to others. Have you practiced before? How is your skill? AIU hesitated for a while, she had not learned anything like fighting. However, with her current physical coordination, strength, and reaction speed, ordinary punches and kicks will definitely not harm her. I haven't practiced seriously, but my physical fitness is still good. 
let's go and give it a try. There is a free gym open to employees in the station, and without hesitation, Chui Jifeng took AIU on the equipment. Seeing this tall and thin girl effortlessly lifting 100 kilograms in 10 sets, Director Chui fell silent. This afternoon, move the office supplies over and find a table yourself. Tomorrow, go to the Dongqing branch and report to Director Liao about a case of cultural relic smuggling. Whatever can or cannot be reported, obey the organization's arrangements. If necessary, cooperate with them to investigate the case. AIU threw away the barbell and happily agreed, I promise to complete the task. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Stainless Steel Vases You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Stainless Steel Vases Gigi Bar Several well-connected colleagues from the social news department are sitting together. After ordering the fourth round of alcohol, I still couldn't get AIU drunk, so everyone gave up completely. A man's wife is a man's wife, take it. Monster, so drinkable. You have to leave tomorrow, and you won't let us see a drunken beauty once. It's heartless. AIU covered her face and said, I'm just changing departments, not living or dying. The ability to drink is probably inherited. Run by gave her and Tian Tian a tough liver. Both sisters can drink. Not to mention the newly introduced nine body exercises, if she exercises her organs in the future, it will be difficult for AIU to get drunk unless she actively controls her blood circulation. Shining Dong, you're not being righteous. Zhao Tai is staring at me, and you haven't even spoken to me. AIU poked the male camera sitting next to him. This guy has been with him for three years, and he was also with him when he saved by Tian Tian. The first person in the entire social news department to know that Vice President Zhao is going to sacrifice AIU is Shining Dong. He followed the leaders in the stage to participate in an activity, and on the way back, Zhao Tai asked him about AIU and asked if Xiao AI would like to film. Hey, my sister. Brother really didn't think that way back then. In my eyes, you were just a brother. Later, when Lao Zhao talked to many people about this, I found out that he really came. Ye was deliberately creating public opinion pressure to force you to voluntarily sacrifice yourself. Everyone sighed for a moment. They heard rumors that AIU was going to become an actor, and they all thought it was ridiculous, especially since there was an ambiguous transaction behind it, which was a self-recommendation. Several people coincidentally chose to ignore, and no one remembered to talk to AIU about whether this was true or false. Colleagues with distant connections are unlikely to come to AIU's side and seek trouble for themselves. So, despite the public opinion pressure spread by Vice President Zhao, AIU didn't feel it at all Lin, who was doing the post-production, became more and more excited as she thought about it. She held AIU's small face and said, if it weren't for this, I would have almost forgotten that you're also a big vase. Get out of here, you guys. AIU waved away his paws that he wanted to wipe away with disdain. If I were a vase, it would also be made of stainless steel. Talking about vases, everyone couldn't help but think of a typical example. Taozi's husband is just a deputy director of the propaganda department. Xiaoyu, if you use your work convenience to find something, you may be able to knock him down. How many days can Taozi still bounce around? My husband, you're just a mistress. Ah, your news is outdated. Hey, Taozi is about to become a regular. Is it really fake? The original configuration doesn't make a fuss. What's going on? I'm dead. It's unclear what happened and I don't know what happened. The more we talk about this topic, the more dull it becomes. It is inevitable that people will think of sour words like the world is declining and people's hearts are not ancient, but they are helpless. Taozi's real name is Lu Tao Tao. She is beautiful and knows how to get things done. She used to be an on-camera journalist. Half a year ago, there was a spot in the department to propose a host. AIU had the best performance in the internal assessment, but later he was awarded a spot by Lu Tao Tao. 
Having lost her professional skills to her lover, Aiyu had nothing to say and could only recognize her by pinching her nose. Thinking of this makes one feel chest tightness and shortness of breath. Aiyu didn't finish sighing in one breath, and a sweet and unattractive face suddenly appeared in front of her. She hasn't fully adapted to the super field of vision brought by her right eye yet, which includes wide dot angle, night vision, long dot range, macro. All in one, occasionally startling herself. After a moment of stunned effort, a man and a woman walked in at the entrance of the bar, looking incredibly bored. Aiu shook her glass and said, Stop talking, she's right over there. Where is it? The diagonal table, held together with Zhao Tai. Gigi Bar is not a home for young people to play around. The guests here are more business oriented and only do business without discussing emotions. Aiu and her colleagues occasionally gather here, and they like to come here for the sake of cleanliness. They never expected to encounter the beautiful beauty of Luda. They come here to do business honestly. Almost without rehearsals, the social news department raised a total of six mobile phones at the same time, silently pinching dozens of photos. Aiu flipped through the photo album and couldn't help but curl up the corner of her mouth. I don't think Xiao Tai will be staring at me anymore. Taozi must have the ability to snatch this good job. If I had known earlier, I would have called her directly, which would have been more convenient. A few days later, the movements of the two beautiful women from the social news department shattered the eyes of the ground. Lu Tao Tao officially resigned and joined the entertainment industry. Aiu, who was rumored to be going to film, instead went to investigate the rule of law. He has already obtained a temporary office desk at the Dongqing branch. The management of news professionals in Taiwan is quite strict, and it is not allowed to use a microphone as a host while also working part-time in filming. If you want to become an actor, you naturally have to resign. The public's perception of Lu Tao Tao is very complex, with envy and contempt each accounting for half. I highly admire Aiu. Aiu was completely unaware of the chaos and disturbance in the station. She is sitting in the conference room of the Dongqing branch listening. In front of me was a white board painted like a spider's web, densely packed with clues, and I didn't know which one was useful. After staying in this place for almost a week, Aiu dared not say a word and constantly reminded herself to keep quiet. The camera shutter and phone ringtone are all turned off. She can't help much, and not adding trouble is already helping. The person sitting at the head of the conference room is director Liao Yangjun, who should be in his early fifties. She is black and thin, her hair has turned more than half white, and she smokes two packs of cigarettes every day. In fact, there seems to be no non-dot smokers in the entire sub-bureau, including those female police officers. I don't know if it's too much pressure, but everyone seems to have a lot of worries. Let's follow the clues and go through them again. Director Liao threw away his cigarette butt and continued, pointing to the whiteboard. The customs have sealed off a large dot-scale smuggling of cultural relics, with some items pointing to tomb raiding groups in the northwest and the other part being cultural relics that have been passed down in an orderly manner. Northwest Malausi has been arrested, and our current goal is the Century Building. Aiu held an electronic pen and was also writing and drawing on her tablet. Her job is not to solve cases, but to observe and document the process of these people solving cases. Enlarge some details that can be exposed, so that the audience can see the difficulties and the hard work these people have put in. The Century Building mentioned by Liao Ju is not a physical building, but a trading platform mainly focused on the sale of cultural relics. The owners of antique shops in Antique Street all know about Century Building. When they are short of funds and do not accept antique cultural relics as collateral for bank loans, Century Building is the best financing platform. Liao and his team now suspect that this Century Building is actually the mastermind behind the smuggling of cultural relics. This organization not only helps tomb raiders sell off loot, but also involves money laundering, black and evil forces, high interest loans, and so on the current difficulty lies in not being able to find the stronghold of the Century Building, 
not knowing who the person in charge is, and all the clues are just a code name like this. A police officer in charge of data analysis stood up and reported, we have screened the account funds of antique street merchants, and the more suspicious ones include Nanfeng, Boguzai, Kashiguan. These companies often have large expenditures for acquisitions, but the sources of funds are all cash deposits. If AIU has some enlightenment, the next step should be to keep an eye on him. Those shops are likely windows for century building to gather good things. By understanding how their money came from or where the things they bought went, one can easily follow the clues. The meeting room was quiet for a while, and Director Liao spoke out, AIU. Suddenly named, AIU's scalp tingled and he quickly stood up. You are a stranger. You can go to the antique street and sell something. Don't worry about the others, it's best to sell them on the same day. Can you do it well? Is this considered fishing law enforcement? It doesn't sound like there's any danger either. AIU nodded and said, no problem. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Encounter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Encounter Yanjing Antique Street was formed in the 1990s, and countless people dream of coming here to pick up leaks and make a fortune. AIU was also one of them. When she first came to Yanjing to go to university, she came here to play with her sisters in the same dormitory, and everything she saw seemed like treasure. Finally, the four silly girls didn't buy anything and instead lost three phones. At that time, AIU never expected that a few years later, when she revisited her hometown, she would actually come to sell her treasures. Today is the weekend, and there is a high flow of antique street visitors. The police officers who handled the case hid in the crowd, and AIU didn't know who it was, let alone look around. The script developed by Liao Ju for her is to compare prices among three different vendors and pass on the ancient jade to the next seller. The meaning is to go to several more places to inquire about the price, so that it looks normal. These companies include those they believe have problems, as well as those that appear to be on duty, and ultimately have to sell the item to one of them that has problems. AIU doesn't have to hide who she is. She used to be an outbound news reporter, and someone might have known her before. Besides, who is not a human spirit eating on this antique street? Role playing in front of them is too easy to show off. As for the ancient jade in my pocket, it is also true. That is a Hanba Dao with a market price of no less than 2 million, and it is unknown which museum Liao Ju borrowed it from. If it gets knocked, bumped, or lost, AI you probably can only apologize with death. In just one morning, AI you visited several stores, but those interested in purchasing the jade offered no more than 1.5 million yuan. All of them are unscrupulous merchants their argument is that ancient jade is priceless, but if they don't find a suitable buyer, being priceless is equivalent to being worthless. There are too few willing to spend money on things that often cost millions. The higher the price of ancient jade, the harder it is to find buyers. This is just a layman's statement, at least AIU is very clear that it's not like that. This small, high dot value item that can be invoiced as a craft is the best choice for giving gifts to special groups. The last stop of this trip is Kashiguan, which is also the most famous jade shop in the antique street. Unless unexpected, the Han jade in the pocket will be sold to their family. As soon as she walked in, AIU froze. At this moment, there are only two customers in the store looking east and west, and one of them is actually by Tian Tian. Sister, why did you come? Yeah, how did I come? Is there any inheritance of ancient jade in the family that others don't know? Can by Tian Tian still not know? This girl knows exactly how many rolls of toilet paper she has stored at her house. Amidst the lightning and fire, AI you had to cut and subtract, and uttered half a sentence. I want to ask for the price of a piece of jade. Beatty and Tian's eyes turned and pointed to the man next to him who was looking at the pendant, shouting, Fei Gu and his family also do jade and stone business. You can sell it to him. 
The owner of Kashiguin's shop froze with a smile and awkwardly coughed twice upon hearing this. I'm talking about girls, aren't you competing with me for business? Beidi and Tian stuck out her tongue, but the Fei Gu apologized and explained to the boss, our family makes modern jewelry, which cannot be compared to the old items here. As the person turned around, raised their hands, and clenched their fists, a faint smell of disinfectant dissipated in the air. Aiu shrugged her nose and exchanged suspicious glances with Bai Tian Tian. Who is this person, he he, that's the doctor. Aiu glared at Bai Tian Tian with some annoyance and said, what are you doing here? Find Fei Gu to help me choose a guanin pendant, Bai Tian Tian said with a hint of resentment. Comrade Bai, if you don't mind celebrating his birthday, I dare not. Aiu glanced at the decorations in the store with discomfort. Even if she takes it seriously, she can't afford these things that can easily cost ten or twenty thousand. Have you bought it? I have something else to do, I'll talk to you later. This is the meaning of not wanting the other two people to mix and sell jade. The boss reluctantly led Aiu up to the second floor, leaving only one assistant to greet the two guys downstairs. Chen Yenfei. Baidian let out a sweet chuckle, and Fei Gu then withdrew his gaze from the corner of the stairs, with a suspicious slight blush on his cheeks. Seeing his appearance, by Tian 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 couldn't help but understand that he really had a crush on Aiu. Tian Tian, is your sister really a journalist? Yeah, pretty, isn't it? Beautiful, not like a journalist. Chen Yenfei didn't say this outside, but silently buried it in his heart. At first, I heard my father say that Uncle Bai has an eldest daughter who works as a journalist and is of a suitable age. The two families intentionally arranged for them to get to know each other. At that time, a particularly specific image came to mind in his mind. My skin is a bit rough, with messy short hair, wearing a vest and work pants full of pockets, carrying a camera and holding a microphone, running wildly on the street what is this? Later on, the other party kept dragging on saying they didn't have time to meet, and he was happy to see it happen. He was very clear about his own parents' intentions, it was just that he had a crush on the girl who was the eldest daughter. Ko Ayu doesn't have the surname by, what relationship can Shanpin real estate have with her? How to say that I am also a doctor from a top-tier hospital, and my family also has a jewelry brand, so I can be considered a wealthy second dot generation. There are so many beautiful nurse girls in the hospital, he really didn't plan to get married too early. It wasn't until he saw Aiu just now that Chen Yenfei realized he was wrong, outrageously wrong. That girl has long hair draped over her shoulders and is wearing a duckbill hat. Linen shirt, straight leg jeans, and a pair of white shoes. The most ordinary attire, wearing it on her, seemed like she had walked out of a manga. Bai Tian Tian noticed that Fei Gu had started to lose focus again, and felt a bit embarrassed. He forcibly dragged people out of the stone museum and roast while walking. If you really want to chase after my sister, please have a proper attitude. She's not one of those clingy girls. Also, I kindly remind you that my sister hates people staring at her with a silly expression on their faces. Is someone staring at her with a seductive expression on their face? Chen Yenfei said tightly, who is that? Dot. Bai Tian Tian pursed her lips, feeling embarrassed to say that the person was herself. Even if my sister only wears a tank top with oversized shorts and collapses on the sofa to play games at home, she can still watch and drool. Bai Tian Tian, this flower lover, still harbors resentment. With the DNA given by the same father, why is one a phoenix and the other a mandarin duck? The meaning is that her mother, Miss Tian, was code by Ms. A.I. looking at Chen Yenfei again, it's even worse. A veteran in the mortal world, with a blurry appearance, it's easy to look at his face. If this person really becomes a brother in law, he will definitely lower the appearance of the next generation of the Bai family. Chen Yenfei's hair was furrowed by Bai Tiantian's gaze. How could this girl look at him like she was looking at a rival in love? Cough, Tian Tian, what about your sister? 
Is it a normal orientation? Beidi and Tian was taken aback and laughed, I don't know about that. If you have the courage, just ask yourself. Don't scare me, your sister usually. You can always tell something, right? Can you tell it? It doesn't seem to be possible. I haven't seen my sister fall in love with anyone. She seems a bit conservative. Well, quite conservative. Shirata recalled carefully Chen Yenfei's eyes lit up. This expression fell into Bai Tiantian's eyes, and her impression of him decreased significantly. She couldn't help but contemplate and say, Do you think you're the right one? I tell you, regardless of whether my sister likes men or women, there must be both men and women who want to pursue her. The police officer who was following closely not far away twitched his face as he listened. What can be proud of about this? If A.I.U. knew how the little girl helped her build a reputation, she would definitely have to deal with her later. That skill, the Sonda king in the game is willing to be defeated. End of this chapter